Here we are in Logic. We're gonna take a quick look at how to set up to stream audio out of Logic to your SessionWire Studio. And you can go and download our plugins after you've created your account, or you can visit our support section to download the plugins so that you can use them without creating a SessionWire account when you join somebody who already has a SessionWire account. Link below. Here we go. We're gonna dive into Logic. We're gonna head up to our preferences our audio preferences, and we're gonna flip over to general, and we're gonna make sure that we have software monitoring enabled so that the plugins will be active. And I like to disable input monitoring only for the focus track. This ensures that no matter which track I'm selecting, I can input monitor one track and select another track and nothing will change. Go back to devices. One more setting that I like to change is the process buffer range. Often I'll set it to small or medium. Not a lot of information out there on the process buffer range, but setting it to medium or small seems to resolve a lot of audio issues that happen with Logic. I'm going to create a bunch of audio tracks just as a template here, and it's really as simple as this. If I have audio in here, drag a loop in. This looks okay to me. I'll have a listen. Sounds great. I'm going to place the SessionWire Send plugin under Audio Units, SessionWire Send, on my Stereo Out track. Now this will stream audio to SessionWire, which means that I'm going to go to SessionWire in my browser. I'll head to my studio. I will allow the browser to access my camera and audio devices. And down here, we see this logo right here, this session wire logo. I'm gonna click the down arrow and I'm gonna make sure that I have session wire send plugin selected as my HQ audio source. That's where the audio is coming from on my computer going to session wire studio. Again, the session wire send plugin. And that's it, we'll flip back to logic. <clears throat> we'll hit play. And we see my meters are moving which means I'm successfully streaming audio into my SessionWire studio. There you have it, setting up Logic with SessionWire to stream audio from Logic to SessionWire. In another video, we're gonna look at how to bring audio from SessionWire into Logic. It's a little bit more complex, so don't be afraid of that pause button if you need to pause and take a look at your setup. If you have questions, reach out to us at support at sessionwire.com or check our knowledge base out at support.sessionwire.com.